What is the Gaia Sphere? The Gaia Sphere is a project that will impact us all on this planet immensely and immeasurably, materially, intellectually, and spiritually. As a concept, it is the initialization of our own self-awareness as an important and vital part of this planet. The Gaia Sphere is an electronic globe that is interfaced with a computer system that can be fed current and past data and the results used to extrapolate a future scenario and displayed on a 360 degree LED globe monitor such as this except this is a balloon but just imagine if this was like uh, 10 feet in diameter and it's covered with a screen. The complete surface is a monitor and it's hooked up to a computer. The hardware, of course, is the globe, which can be of any size. The software is the data integrating future scenario extrapolating artificial intelligence that is more than just a mere search engine. It would take verbal commands and use old and near real-time data to project the current state of our environment as well as to project future scenarios, future predictions and forecasts for weather, economic trends, pollution, population, and other aspects of life on Earth. This is a carrot. Notice how much we eat we eat many times a day. We are constantly eating to replenish the material that make up our bodies. We are processing the environment through us, keeping some things and letting some things go as waste. The food, air, and water becomes us and we become what was once food, air, and water. We become the earth and the earth becomes us. I am the earth. You are the earth, much as the clouds are the earth, as much as the trees and the fish and everything on the planet is the earth. I'm not from Mars. I don't live on the earth. I am the earth. My body, your bodies are all made up of the same things as the earth. Just a few months ago, the atoms in my body belonged to a cow or a lettuce it might have been part of a cloud, a fish, a germ. However, unlike a cloud or a cow or a lettuce, I am a thinking, feeling, cognitive part of the earth that has the power to determine what happens to this planet. We are like the planet's brain cells. What happens to the earth make a big difference in our lives. Let's take the weather as an example. Daily, the weather has the most influence in our lives, and it is the most unpredictable. The weather determines how much food we can produce, and food is a necessity in our lives that is of immediate need. We have clothing and shelter that can last over time, but food is something that we must have every day in order to survive. And the weather is what influences the production and distribution of food the most. The amount the amount of sunlight, water, and clean air that we get is vital to our health and well-being. If we can predict the future as, uh, in regards to the weather, we can also predict future economic progress to a finer degree. The lack of food, water, and nutrition causes war, poverty, diseases, and many of the ills of human civilization. If we can forecast the weather to a, to a fine degree, we can manage our Earth better. And if we can forecast the weather better, we can use this method to forecast other trends, other scenarios that may happen to the Earth, such as in economics, pollution control, population growth, and the general welfare of life on Earth. As an individual person, I need to know certain things about my health to maintain my health. That's why I have uh, physical checkups. I check my temperature, blood pressure, blood sugar, etc. I look at myself to make sure that I am clean, 
And if I am dirty, I wash myself. I take a bath, brush my teeth, groom my appearance, etc. Because I am aware, self-aware of my status. The Gaia Sphere makes it possible to do this with the Earth on an unprecedented scale. This self-awareness is important to the Earth. Very important. As we are the Earth, we need to get better at looking at ourselves. If we can look at what we are doing to ourselves as an integrated living organism that is dependent on each other for survival, then we can determine what is not desirable and change it by doing what needs to be done. And not just with the weather, but with everything that happens to us on a global scale, from the environment to socio-economic uh, trends. The Gaia Sphere is a tool for self-awareness on a global scale. Being able to take verbal commands, I would be able to ask Gaia, show me Earth from outer space, and the globe would display the image of Earth as captured by the many cameras orbiting the planet, but in near real time, maybe in the future in real time. I could then say, show me continuous footage of the weather patterns for the past seven days and speed it up by a factor of 50. This would show me a quick moving image of the cloud patterns over, sped, uh, over Earth sped up 50 times. Then I could say, show me a simulation of the weather for the next seven days sped up 50 times. This would give me a forecast for the next week all over the planet. The forecast would not be perfect even as it is now, but it would get better and better. The more data we get from around the globe and the more we fine-tune our software and our extrapolation methods, the better we should get at forecasting further and further into the future. And we can go beyond just forecasting the weather. I could say, take away the cloud layer and we'll see the Earth without the clouds that hide the surface. I could say, show me seismic activity for the past 100 years. Forecast possible major earthquakes for the next 100 years. Everything that happens physically on the planet that could change the environment is input right into the computer. For instance, let's say there was an earthquake in Chile. I could command Show me the effect of the recent earthquake in Chile in terms of food production. I could say, show me how this affects trade between the U.S. and Chile in terms of annual capital flow. This could be displayed as lines denoting uh, import and export factors. We would have to have standardized ways of graphically showing movement of goods, capital, people, etc. In a dynamic, near real-time display, However, the world of the weather and economic factors as it pertains to the world are just two aspects. It works with other aspects of life, all other aspects of life on, planet, on the planet. Everything that happens in the world influences each other. This hardware that is the globe monitor is feasible with the current technology that we have now. There are already available on the market numerous electronic globes of varying sizes, but none that I know of that processes streaming data from worldwide sensors and instruments to create a near real-time display of planetary conditions. But I know we have the tech, the technology to create the hardware. That's no problem. What we need to develop to make the Gaia Sphere work is advanced software an algorithm that can take in all the data that impacts the Earth and use it to extrapolate how it changes life on this planet. Then to display it as a near real-time video on a 360-degree 3D electronic globe so that we can see it whole. Using this info, we can tweak what we do on, our, on the planet for optimum effect. Like a planetary biofeedback device, we can use this technology to make our planet more healthy, peaceful, prosperous, and fulfilling. This would literally be a crystal ball that could predict and make very bright the future of our planet. Because once we get a handle on how our planetary environment works in detail, we can do things that, that can improve it with our technology, such as to prevent catastrophic hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and other disasters. 
even providing rain and sunshine where needed across the globe. Just as we improve our personal health by doing things that are good for us, we can institute planetary health by doing the right things on a global basis for the optimum well-being of Earth. I see the Gaia sphere as belonging to the Earth and everything that makes up the Earth. Like the Internet, it's for everyone, owned by everyone. It is a natural process of planetary evolution that will grow and grow, powered by input and contributions from everyone. The more near real-time information about this planet we can gather with our sensors, instruments, observations, and the better we get at integrating and coordinating this data into a whole, the more awesome the potential of this endeavor. This is just the beginning. I can see the Gaia sphere in every classroom, a big one in every college, at every stock market, military headquarters, United Nations, corporate boardrooms, environmental agencies, science labs, trade companies, and more. And philosophically and spiritually, it would make a sea change in the way we perceive, perceive our planet. It would bring us all together, knowing that we are all united in a global bond that is biologic, and that we can see with one glance. We would have a bigger concept of who we are and what part we play on the, pl on the planet. We would know that we are one, unify, a whole, not just spiritually or metaphysically, but in actual material reality, as we are constantly exchanging the atoms of our bodies with each other and the environment, with the earth, because we are the earth. This is a work for many generations, just as the Egyptians made pyramids that required the work of thousands of people over many generations, so will the Gaia sphere require the work of thousands, even millions and billions of people over many centuries to take it to its ultimate potential. This is something that involves not only every one of us right now, but also everyone who will be born and will live on Earth. <clears throat> Whatever you can do for this endeavor will be appreciated by all, by everyone on this planet. We need people from all walks of life to contribute, people who can help make the hardware and the software. And after that, we need global data the Gaia sphere has to be supported by a global institute or agency that can help gather, integrate, and disseminate the information through the hardware. If your work or interest has a worldwide scope, the Gaia sphere can use your help. Computer hardware and software developers are needed, environmental researchers, geologists, meteorologists, Oceanographers, economic trend analysts, seismologists, biologists, physicists, bankers, politicians, artists, public relations people, and much, much more. As you begin to fully understand the significance of the Gaia sphere, you will begin to know how your own field of expertise can fit into the whole. Right now, we need to generate interest and enthusiasm. Let's get this ball rolling. Feel free to contact me if you would like to get uh, personally involved. Thanks for your time.